The year, um, it went pretty good. Uh, I guess in the beginning of the year, I was out racing some Supercross stuff, uh, got hurt, and then in between I was doing uh, the Dade stuff, and I think I missed about five or six rounds of that. I guess after the drops, I was in second. That's when we decided to race the rest of the series and, and go for the championship, and uh, second half was <laughs> kind of rough. It was, it was a lot of work, a lot of you know falls and stuff, which I wasn't used to, so. I mean, the year went good because I ended up with the championship again, but uh, it, it wasn't an easy one. Well, I guess last year, everything pretty much came easy, you know, and uh, I guess like they say, just uh, about anything, any championship or, you know, any champion, it's always hard to repeat. But, you know, I, I had a good team behind me, and, and uh, with that, you know, I think that's, that's why I'm, I'm champion. Second, second's about like kissing your sister, but in all reality, the season went well. We fell 10 points short, and uh, you know, what can you do? I tried my best. I can say I went out like that. I, I went as hard as I could every chance I had, and it just didn't work out. We didn't win all the battles, but we won the war. I can tell you, the, the competition came from Tyler Livesey and Chris Williamson. Those guys were hot this year, and they put it to us every time they could. George Babor, uh, he's more or less like a second dad to me, you know? Um, He's been there through my 80 career, my 125 career, 250 career, and you know that guy. He he puts everything he has into into my stuff, and uh, I couldn't thank him more. He he is a huge part of my program, uh, along with you know my family, my mom, my dad, girlfriend at home, uh, Hans at Extreme, just just everybody. But George, he he's been there for the long haul, and and uh, I'll never be able to repay him for for what he's done for me. I'll always help Michael as long as he's riding a motorcycle. We have a great chemistry together, and uh, we proved it again this year. I guess the championship really boiled down to, to me and Tyler, and uh, we had our ups and downs during the season. We're both, you know, racing there every weekend. We're both one and two in the championship, and we're there for the same reason, and we're competitors. That's what we're going to do, and I think, you know, at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the series, we're friends again, and it's just it's just part of racing, and that's what's going to happen when you race it for money and, and integrity. You know, Bacombe is Mr. Uh, consistent. He won a fair amount of races as well, and uh, cannot take that away from him. He's a good guy, and uh, obviously a good racer, and he was really tough on me this year. I mean, everyone else was riding good at the end, Renner and Keelon. Me and him had our issues, and we were falling back at the end, but I would say that we fought it out as hard as we could and uh, he prevailed. Towards the end of the year, we didn't have the best ride, I don't think, and uh, I, I think it played out when Tyler got hurt uh, on that big tabletop jump. I think we had three to go and I crashed that night. And uh, it was definitely one of the scariest crashes I've ever been in. Something jerked, and all I know is I went to go chop and it hung and pulled me off the back and I went sailing and, and I kind of looked to the side when I was in the air and I was like, this ain't gonna end too well. And I remember thinking when I was in the air, I said, I swear on my grandma's grave, I said, how long is it gonna take for the helicopter to get here? Me and Tyler, I guarantee, were worried about each other, what move we were making, where we were at, you know, and, and lining up, you know, next to my competition every weekend, you know, you, you're you're more worried about him than, than anything else. See, I'll be completely honest with you, I was just trying to make it through and had my fingers crossed that I could do enough and, and he made his mistakes. And I would say we freaking went after it. I mean, we got our guys in the pits arguing over, over us doing this and that on the track, but all in all, and I'm guarantee he'll agree, we went as hard as we could. And uh, we may have bumped here or there or done this, that or there somewhere, but uh, we're competitive racers and, and in any sport, when you got one, two guys, I don't care how good of friends you are, you're gonna have drama, so. It's nerve wracking, it definitely is going into the last four rounds knowing that you know you have to beat this guy. So. I was nervous. Um, Michael wasn't having a good night. Uh, his dad was there. Uh, there was a lot of people there that don't usually show up and it was about 10 deep at the fence at my trailer and uh, the pressure was on. Last race, last round, the biggest thing that sticks out to me is, is going into that turn with Tyler. and. Uh, we, we ended up hitting, but uh, it, I could have really went in there. And, and the nerves that go through in the last round when 
you know, it, it's for the money and, and all that, it's, it's, it's unreal. I knew going, I told myself going to the night, what's meant to be will be. If he's meant to win, then I'll win. I'm a firm believer in that. What's meant to happen will happen. You know, all you gotta do is put your, uh, put your heart into it. If it's your time, it's your time. It was neat the way it came out because I'm not a sore loser, but I really like to win. At that last race there, when, when everybody came out with all the champagne and everything, it, it was a big, uh, a big burden off, I guess, my shoulders, you know. It, it, it really kicked in then, you know, I had everybody spraying champagne. It was just, it was an awesome feeling, you know what I mean? It, you have one of the, it's, it's a rare moment that you, you know, you share with your friends and family and everybody at the track and everything, and, and uh, it's definitely one that'll stick with me for a long time. I'd like to thank uh, RealMotocross.com, Red Bull, Randy Yoho, Dade City MX, just everybody that makes you know this Dade City series, I guess, go around and uh, make it possible for the guys that uh, can't go out and race every weekend at the Nationals and stuff to put a paycheck in our pockets and uh, don't have to go get real jobs.